Welcome back to Tango Romeo 87, the wood shop edition. We're really excited to have gotten our new Bauer 10 inch, five speed bench top drill press delivered today. We only had to wait four days from the time we ordered it to the time we got it. This is another one of those affordable tools that you can put in your shop that won't break the bank. Kind of excited to get this out of the box and see what it has. I don't know, does it have the laser guide? Um, doesn't say on the box, but some videos I saw on the eight inch showed a laser. So I'm hoping this one does. So let's unbox this thing and uh, see how difficult it's gonna be to put together. Hopefully this is one of those things that's easy to put together. Okay, the first thing you'll notice is the owner's manual, which tells you how to put it together and how to safely operate it. Um, we have the stand that it all mounts to. We'll move this stuff over here. What do we have here? The base. This is, this is heavy. Cast iron. Surprising. That'll give it a nice solid base to sit on. And we have the table, but uh, that's also cast iron and has degree marks on it. So we'll see how that works. And we have a bag of parts, which are handles and, and pieces we need for the uh, drill press itself. And a big piece of heavy styrofoam. A clean shop is a happy shop. And this uh, is your drill motor and your top gears. So, set that off to the side. First impression is this is heavy made. This is not your old Harbor Freight Central machinery. This is a piece of heavy made equipment. Very nice craftsmanship. Very nice on the metal, the paint, the depth gauge on the side. So, I guess the first thing we would have to do is get our base and get this thing put together. Okay, we've got everything laid out here so you can see exactly what comes in the box. There's not too many pieces. You've got your drill head, your base plate, your project plate, and then everything that was in the accessory bag, which is some Allen wrenches, some bolts, handles, and that type of thing. So the number one thing is getting this mounted. You get three bolts already threaded in the plate. So we'll get them started in. Ten inch bench top drill press. Now it is a five speed, and you open the top here somehow. There we go, and you'll see the belt up here in the top, and it gives you a chart. You don't just get a hit a gear lever to change your speeds. Based on the position of the belts, is the speed of the belt, and it looks like we can go from 630 RPMs at the lowest setting up to 3,300 RPMs on the fastest setting. But listen guys, drilling oil isn't always about fast. So far, I'm really impressed. It's solid, 
Um, everything looks to be well made, but you've got a place that you can put your check key so that you don't lose it in between jobs. Really smooth operation. I like that. We've got two switches, light and laser. So we'll probably have a laser. That's pretty much it for now. I'll get a place cleaned off over here on the bench and get this set where it's going to go. And then we'll, uh, we'll do some adjustments. There's your drill stops on this side. I'll show you that more closely here in a little bit. But uh, really excited. This is going to be a really exciting thing for me. So let's get the bench cleaned off and get this set up and put it through its paces. Alrighty then, I got the desk cleaned off or the, or the workbench cleaned off and got the drill press moved over to where it's going to be at permanently for now. Um, I drilled some holes through the countertop and put some half inch bolts to it so it's mounted really solidly and I don't have to worry about it shifting or moving. I'm super impressed with the Bauer 10 inch tabletop drill press to this point. I've got two switches here, one turns on the laser and the other one gives you a work light. The laser I have found is dead accurate, but it is adjustable in the event you get one that's not as accurate as this, but I can put a pencil dot and the center of that drill bit will hit that every single time. So that's kind of handy. I got to play with it a little bit from the time that I put it together and moved it over here and came back to give you the final review on it. Made me a nice holder for my Forstner drill bits, something that I can just keep here by the drill and use because the Forstner bit I'm going to use a lot. Now, if you know, a good set of Forstner bits runs you about $40 or $50. Um, go on Harbor Freight, and I'll put a link on the Harbor Freight website. This set of Warrior Forstner bits, quarter inch, three eighths, half inch, five eighths, three quarters, seven eighths, and one inch bit, seven pieces for $9. Can't beat it, and they cut. So let me show you what I've found. I'll clamp my workpiece down here. Try to avoid not clamping your work down. Because if that piece of wood splits and your finger gets into that drill bit, you're going to be toast. But as you can see here, we turn the power on and we can turn the laser on. We bring this down. That Forstner bit doesn't hesitate one bit to cut into this piece of wood. Very nice cut. Very smooth running motor. I've got it on at slow speed right now. But uh, guys, you are not going to go wrong with this. Now your drill stops over on this side, you can set these so that you can stop your depth. You just screw that down and there's a nice depth gauge. And I've found that the depth gauge is pretty accurate. I just uh, bring it down to my workpiece and touch it. And if I wanted to go half inch, I add a half inch to wherever that stop is. And it stops every single time. So that's my final word on this Harbor Freight 10 inch benchtop Bauer drill press. If you're looking for a drill press for your shop that you can afford, this is the one. It, uh, it's smooth. It does exactly what it's advertised to do. I haven't drilled any steel with it yet, but I will. Uh, I'll make me some angle iron clamps to clamp material here, and I'll put that in another video when I do it. But uh, I don't see a problem with it. With the slow speed of 640, we should be able with a little drill oil to drill through pretty good mild steel without issue. But uh, my review on this is five out of five stars. It's something that I really am going to use and appreciate. And if you need a drill press, guys, this is the one. So that's it. I mean, it drills holes and it drills them with precision. Um, go get you one. I'll put a link below to the Harbor Freight site so you can see the exact one I've got. And you just can't beat it for the money. And that's it. Next video, we're going to be building some cool stuff. Um, how to turn a little bit of money into a lot of money in sales. And so go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like, hit the bell to be notified with next videos because, we're, you know, we're, this channel is kind of eclectic. We'll do some gardening. We're going to do a lot of outdoor activities because we are still here in Greenbrier County, Pocahontas County, West Virginia. This is nature's outdoor playground. 
lots of trails, lots of places to bike, hike, kayak, walk, just whatever we want to do outside, we can do it here. And warm weather is coming. It's on top of us now. Um, we do uh, the gardening, we do the outdoor activities, we do the wood shop, and we're turning the old church into a house. So there'll be episodes that kind of interest you on every subject. So go ahead and hit subscribe now, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode.